Place marks in Google Earth allow us to view and navigate to different places around the world. Users can also mark locations and add their own information with place marks. If you want to view the information about a place mark, there are two ways you can do it. One is if you see the place mark icon in the main window, such as this one from Wikipedia. I can click on it and this is going to give me information about the Northwest Territories. And sometimes it's uh, long enough you can scroll down. And all the links in this article are working links that will bring me to those websites. To go back to Google Earth, there's a button up here in the upper left. Back to Google Earth. Another way to get information about a placemark is if you see it located in the left sidebar menu, either in the layers or if you see it listed in places. So here's campsite one. If I click on it, then it not only shows me where the icon is on the, on the earth, but it gives me the information I can read it. If I double click on it, then it's going to bring me to a predetermined view of this icon, how it was set up. Adding place marks in Google Earth is easy. Look for a yellow push pin in the toolbar. This is what you're going to use to add a place mark. And when you click on it, a couple things happen. One is you get this untitled place mark. It's a yellow push pin. And the other thing that occurs is this uh, place mark window, new place mark window. First, I want to make sure that I have this set where I want it to be. So if I click on it, I can drag it to a location that I'm happy with. Maybe I want it right there. If you don't want to use a yellow push pin for your icon, then you can choose another one easy enough. Come over here to the new place mark window, and there's another button in the upper right here. If you click on that, it's going to show you all the different icons that are available. Since I used a tent for the last campsite, I'm going to choose a tent once again. And then press OK. Now I can change the information about my place mark. First is giving it a name. So I'm going to change this to Campsite 2. It's always helpful to add descriptions to the place marks you add in Google Earth. I'm in the Description tab right now, and right here is a text box where I can type whatever I'd like. Something else that you can do is to adjust the style and the color of your icon. The label right now on the map is white. If I want to, I can change the label so it sticks out more. So maybe I make it yellow. Press OK. And now you can see that the label has now gone from white to yellow. You know, I can also make it larger make it stand out so maybe I go to uh, 1.5 I can change the color of the icon also from here or I can change the size since I'm using a, an icon that's already green it's, it's not gonna work out too well if I change it so I'm gonna leave it green but maybe I'm gonna change the scale I'm just gonna turn it up a little bit and when you're ready with that you can press OK or you can move on and change some other things one of the things you might want to adjust is the view. Click on the view tab and you see all these different descriptions how the icon is going to be viewed. If I move my view in it right now in Google Earth and I click on snapshot current view then this is the view that's going to be saved for this icon. When I'm done with everything I'm going to press OK and now you see that I have Campsite 2 is added to my places in the left sidebar menu. If I double click on Campsite 1, I can go back to there in the view that was set for that. And if I double click on Campsite 2, I should return to the view that I had just set.